To start participating in MLMP, most people choose a site and monitor it weekly. Any location that contains milkweed can be a monitoring site. Gardens, parks, roadsides, and prairies are all great. It's important that the site is not treated with pesticides. Once you've found a site, you'll need to fill out the site description form. This includes information about the size, location, and other characteristics of your site. You'll also need to record the species of milkweed growing there. If you have any questions about what constitutes a site, please feel free to ask us. You should measure milkweed density once a summer, sometime in the middle of the growing season. Doing it too early might exclude plants that aren't up yet, and doing it too late may exclude plants that have died off. If you can easily count all of the milkweed plants at your site, record the actual number of milkweeds and the size of your site. If your site has too many milkweed plants to count, you'll count the number of milkweed plants in several randomly chosen one meter squares. To do this, randomly choose a direction and walk one or more transects or paths through your site. There are many ways to choose random transects. Some are described on the data sheet. Stop every five to 10 steps and delineate a one by one meter square using a ruler. Count all of the milkweed plants within that square. You'll probably get a lot of zeros, but that's okay. The number of steps between measurements will vary with the size of your site, but you must be consistent for all of your samples. Record the data on the milkweed density data sheet. Continue with this method until you have sampled up to 100 squares. The more squares you sample, the more accurate your density estimate will be, but more than 100 is not necessary. Don't let the presence or absence of milkweed influence your choice of samples. Random samples means that every square meter in your plot has an equal chance of being selected. We realize that this activity may be difficult in some sites. For example, if you monitor along a roadside or a single patch of milkweed in a large field, just make sure to tell us reasons that your measurements of milkweed density may be inaccurate. Accurate milkweed density is important in determining monarch larval density.